Hello Mini Nukes and welcome back to what is probably the final episode of Life is Strange. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why but with most games that I play, whenever I reach the final episode I'm always so nervous <laughs> and I think this one's got me the most nervous of all and I think it's just because the the ending is so is so ominous like I have no idea what is going to happen and if I'm gonna cry, if I'm, I'm gonna be angry or whatever, I don't know, but <sighs> I'm so scared. But we're just gonna dive right into this, so. Uh, okay, so this was uh, just got put in the bathroom here. This was just after that weird sequence where we had to collect bottles and stuff and 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 then we went into like the different rooms and things. It was so weird, but. Why is there a code here? I'll be so grateful if this is the last digi code. Yeah, but why does it exist? Also, um, ooh. I keep forgetting to go through my journal, you know. I'm so sorry, I will go through it, guys, don't worry. Um, it, the picture, there's the picture that I didn't look at, the one we were collecting the bottles. I'm not ent entirely sure why that existed, but yeah. Okay, so it's just broken bottles. I don't know why we took a picture of that, but okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. So... Two, three, five, and six look like they're the most used. That's a bit cruel, because now that's even... that th Those are even more combinations that I have to do, so... Um, let's do... Two... Three... Five... Six. No. Wait, what? Oh. Uh, whoa. Great. Numbers are all over the place. How will I find the right code? Well, that's not exactly fair. Excusez-moi. <laughs> this is not exactly fair. <laughs> I'm so tempted to Google because I have no idea. What I literally... the hell is wrong with this mirror? Yeah, but what am I meant to do with this mirror? I, I, I give up. I'm, I'm waving the white flag. I give up. <laughs> okay, so what it's saying is look at the mirror, but whatever is it, something that's reflected on it. What but the I... hell is wrong with this mirror? Oh, hold on. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I, I did not see that. I just passed that off as a bit of graffiti or something. I didn't even see that. Okay, so that's... Is that 0311? 0311. That took me far too long. I didn't actually look up the number, I just saw what someone had said about looking in the mirror. I, I had a feeling there was something to do with the mirror, but I completely ignored that. Like, I did not even see that. Oh, that would have taken me far too long. Guys, I'm so sorry. Just wasted 10 minutes on the stem. Don't kill us, Max! I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was about to start a new life in California. Um... Shit, Max. I thought we were on the same team. Now I'll die alone. Max, I hope you do the right thing. I hope. I can't believe you kissed me. Now you're going to kill me? Max, please save us. Save the Bigfoots, Max. Honey, I Please. always thought of you like a dog. So this is how Max and gets her revenge. I know. So I is my husband a new baby? I wish we had been have to friends. Go without Who? Who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you give a rat's ass. I do care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear? 
You were just looking for a shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. That's not true. I have great friends and I've used my powers for good. Please stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? We all are. This isn't about Chloe, or even me anymore. Gosh, you're so selfless now, Mahatma Max. It's too bad you pissed your power away on high school drama. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you'll have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she has any feelings for us? You're just another puppet. Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... Oh hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. What? What? Oh, I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yo, turn. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. What is Let's this? Let's talk about your superpower. Epic! I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. You can rewind time, Max. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious... I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Max, you better come check out these files. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Cowabunga! Why, look, an otter in my water. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Photobomb! Photo hog. It feels... I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? I know. I can't see where I'm going Adrian. anymore. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Hold up, it's Rachel so dark. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Dude, I am so lucky that my father is cool. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? 
Chloe. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. Chloe, you're back. I'm just... Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other... Rachel! Oh, Rachel, no, no, please, not her! Chloe, come on, Max, we're almost there. Oh, no. Chloe, I, I must have passed out. Oh, thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. My storm! I caused this! I caused all of this! I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything! And all I really created was just death and destruction! Fuck all that, okay? You were given a power, you didn't ask for it, and you saved me! Which had to happen, all of this did! Except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her! Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Max. This is the only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority. You are all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My stepfather... Deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can.
I don't even know what to say. I, I don't I don't get it right okay so all this has been caused because we've just been delaying Chloe's death so many times so then why did Max have her powers to begin with like how did she have them in the first place I don't I don't get that I mean I don't know if that if that it ever explains why or you know if we do know why but you know if, if Chloe's meant to die anyway then then why did we have them in the first place I mean What happens if I don't sacrifice Chloe? You're telling me that just everyone who is living in Arcadia Bay at the moment, so you know, minus us because we're in a we're in a safer place. Because we're not in the tornado's path. So we'll be saved, but everyone else will die. But I suppose everything's fine if Chloe's not there, but you know, what if this game does like a, a, a 180 and even though you do sacrifice Chloe and, and go back and, and Nathan shoots her and she dies how she's supposed to, then what's to say that the storm doesn't come anyway? <laughs> I See, this storm has- this storm exists because we kept delaying her death. Is that it? Do, do I have that right from what I've just heard? God. Oh my god. Guys, I don't... I really don't know what to do here. I mean... We just got Chloe back and we're gonna kill her already. do that <sighs> but then everyone else is dead <laughs> and far too many people we've seen die in this playthrough already and I don't want to add like 50 plus more people to that list <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I d we just got Chloe back. Come on. Well, whatever I choose, and you know, for this decision, there's obviously no going back. Like that's it. I guess I just I'm, I'm afraid to say it, but I, I think we have to say goodbye to Chloe. I just as much as it's tearing me apart inside, I just one life, you know, for everyone else's. I mean, as much as you know, she makes us happy and she's our best friend. Can't just let everyone else die, especially Chloe's family and all our other friends and everything else. So I think Chloe has to go. Max, 
It's time. Chloe. I'm so, so sorry. I... I don't want to do this. I know, Max. But we have to. We have to save everybody. Okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week... It was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. You forget about me. Never. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho!
guys. <sighs> Yay. I need to blow my nose. Okay, I'll be one second. <sighs> Guys. <sighs> what do I say now? I just... <sighs> There's nothing to say. <laughs> I just I I just I've I have i have no idea what to say. I really don't. <laughs> yeah, even that one, the song's backwards. <laughs> That's great. Because that was the song that played when we had that backwards sequence. <laughs> I've lost words, I really am. Normally I have something to say, but I just... I just don't. And I think that's understandable, right? I don't think there'd be like an end credit scene for this or anything, but I know for sure that there are the... the little decisions we did at the end, but... I mean, I want to sit through this just in case there is something at the end. I, I highly doubt it, but... I mean, even so, if there is, normally when you skip credits, it does show up, so... Because normally they do that so you don't actually miss the end credit scene, but... Yeah. To be quite honest, I don't think I need to say anything. I think the game just speaks for itself. I don't think I have to say anything at all. At least, not to me, that is. There's just nothing else I can possibly say. What happened happened and th th there's no other way around it like it just happened and there's no <laughs> that's it that's the end there's, there's nothing for me to analyze or anything like that because that's it I mean the only thing that you know puzzled me a bit was like why does Max have these powers in the first place like it just just thinking about it it's like well okay she, so she has them but she had them as soon as she saw Chloe get shot. That's how we discovered them. So... Or was it? Wait, did she not have... No, hold up. She... Did she not have... I can't remember if she had the dream in the classroom of the storm first. And then she went to the bathroom and then Chloe got shot. Or it's the other way around. Either way, to me, it still doesn't- it doesn't really make any sense as to why she has them in the first place and that, well, if that storm was appearing because Max was delaying Chloe's death, then, then, then why was she bestowed with these powers, you know? It's like, I mean, again, these are things that are kind of hard to understand anyway. That's it, huh? That's pretty... That's almost 50-50 here, okay. You decided to sacrifice Arcadia Bay 48%. And 52% sacrifice Chloe. That's so... That's, that's so close to 50-50 that that's actually quite... That's quite mind-blowing in a way. I would expect one to have slightly more than the other, but... I mean, I'm really curious to know what happens if you sacrifice Arcadia Bay, but... Crazy. Crazy. Okay, um... David got a scar during the fight, 96%. David didn't get a scar during the fight, 4%. Okay, so that must have been if you had done done it in such a specific way that um, 
he didn't he doesn't get hit by Jefferson during the fight. So, um, I mean, that's OK. Scars are cool. So <laughs> plus David is a military man. So uh, David killed Jefferson 48 percent. David didn't kill Jefferson 52 percent. Oh, that's almost 50 50 as well. That's quite interesting. I guess some of you were that mad at Jefferson that you just let him kill him or you just chose that option and just decided not to go back. So, yeah. Um, you saved the trucker 56%. You didn't save the trucker 44%. Uh, excuse me. Um, oh yeah. I mean, I did say in the last episode when I was going through like the, the whole, um, you know, destruction in, in the area in Arcadia Bay that I felt like I had missed some stuff. But, you know, everything was so hectic that I just didn't know where to look at or what the hell to do or if, yeah, you know, because things like that, I feel like, oh, shit, I need to, you know, I don't have time to mess around and look about. So you saved Evan 58%. You didn't save Evan 42%. Okay, oops, another person I didn't save. We saved Alyssa, though, which is good. 59%, 41% didn't save her. Okay, um, not exactly like that matters anyway because we, we, uh, we saved Arcadia Bay, so none of these guys got, got hurt. At least I think. <laughs> you saved the fisherman, 72%. You didn't save the fisherman, 28%. So you're telling me 28% of people electrocuted him, went through the thing, and didn't rewind? <laughs> you dicks. <laughs> um, you helped Joyce believe in David again, 32%. You didn't change Joyce's mind about David, 68%. Oh, shit. Oh, that's... 32%. That's kind of low. Oh, oh, thank goodness. I'm glad because I, I, I really wanted Joyce and David to, you know, after David being like, you know, at the start, you're like, oh, David seems a bit odd. Um, but then he saves us and, and he really is a good guy. He just, he just had funny ways of showing it and, you know, with his methods of like surveillance and all that. So I'm glad because I, I, I like David a lot. So you told the truth about Rachel to Frank, 60%. You didn't tell the truth about Rachel to Frank, 40%. Okay. I felt like Frank did deserve to know since he he was nice to us in the end and he gave us uh, the list of of people to um, uh, to find Nathan. But I think he would have given it to us anyway because that, that's like essential to the, to the game, so that makes sense. You kissed Warren, 74%. You didn't show Warren any affection, 4%. You hugged Warren, 22%. You dicks. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, but that's it. Okay, that's it. So now what? That's it. That's it. Oh. We can play those again, right? Well, I'm obviously not going to, but... And now it's all nice and sunny again. <laughs> oh, guys, we did it. We actually finished this game. I'm astonished. <laughs> I, uh... I really don't know what else to say about this. I, I, I just... I don't. Because it, it... I just think the game speaks for itself. There's nothing that I have to say that... that needs saying. I mean, there's nothing there. We... We sacrifice Chloe and that's it. I'm really curious as to what happens if you um, sacrifice Arcadia Bay, so I might have to go on YouTube and check that out, but um, yeah. I have a headache now from all that crying. <laughs> oh gosh, my head hurts. I am an emotional person, you know, I I'm sensitive to some things and, you know, I, I get really attached to certain video game characters, etc. And to be honest, like, I liked Chloe and Max's relationship and everything, but I didn't... I think this game was a sneaky one, because as much as I like the two, it's not something that I really thought I was going to get an attachment for. So, you know, it, it's, a ni it's a pleasant surprise, a nice surprise that I actually had, you know, some pretty strong feelings about their relationship when it got down to the decision of whether to sacrifice Chloe or Arcadia Bay, so... I, I didn't expect it, but it was there, so, you know, it was a pleasant surprise, and I, I was afraid that I wasn't going to get upset, and that, just because everyone had told me that, that I was going to, and I thought, well, shit, what happens if I don't? <laughs> um, but, yeah, it was, it was a pleasant surprise, and 
I think it's just, you know, I didn't, I didn't realize it and I didn't know it, but as I was playing, you know, that emotional attachment that I had for them both, you know, it finally came out at the end. So it was just kind of sneaking its way through. But I really like that. I really did enjoy this game a lot. You know, one thing in particular is that this game really kind of... Not so much forced me, but it, it got me thinking a lot. Thinking about what different events could lead up to and, and how everything's gonna pan out, you know, it really just made me think. And I really like that. I, I, and um, I was really appreciative of a lot of the comments who appreciated my thoughts and feelings about the game and, and my reactions and, and that you know, I was trying to think about a lot of these things and analyze it and maybe guess what might happen and you guys seem to have really liked that and I really appreciate those comments who, who told me that they, they enjoyed uh, me guessing things and just putting my thoughts and feelings out there so thank you those of you who said all that. I have seen your comments and I'm sure I have hearted a lot of them so I do really appreciate that so thank you. Um, and thank you to all of you who have you know, been on this journey with me since the start. I know with video games sometimes <laughs> I have a habit of dragging them out for so long because you know certain things get in the way and it ends up being like a three month long playthrough when it really doesn't need to be but um, We've done everything on the channel now, so I'm hoping that this is a fresh start now. Because um, having a lot of playthroughs at once, three I think is too much for me to handle, which is why it took Life is Strange so long to be finished. Um, but now that we've finished everything, you know, hopefully when I do other playthroughs they won't take so long to come out. So yeah, but I again I appreciate everyone who's been on the journey with me since the start and all those of you who you know joined while I was maybe like halfway through the game or something those of you who, who, who had binged watched the series as well I really appreciate it and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did those of you who already knew the game and just wanted to watch my reactions or those of you who uh, were new to the game as I was so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed because I definitely did and uh, do let me know in the comments what you thought about the end of this. Um, you know, did you get emotional? What did you guys pick? You know, did you sacrifice Chloe or Arcadia Bay? Just your thoughts and feelings on the game as well. I'd love to read some of the comments and yeah, just know what you guys think. I'm not entirely sure what else to say now. I, I honestly, it's just the end of this really caught me off guard. So, well, did it catch me off guard though? I felt like something big was coming. Obviously, I had no idea what was going on, but yeah. You know, the one thing that I am actually kind of happy about was predicting that Jefferson was shady from the start. Even though, like, I didn't say it from right off the get-go, but just just from the beginning, I kept it to myself, but just from the beginning, seeing him in the first shot, I thought, okay, hot teacher, everyone loves him, that's normally a recipe for something bad. Bad. So, you know, I had this idea in my head that, okay, this guy might be shady. Um, like I said before, I have no, I had no idea, you know, to what extent that shadiness was, was there for, you know, like, I didn't know how bad it would get, but I had a feeling that something about him was dodgy, and we only just find out that he happens to be, you know, kidnapping and drugging girls and taking pictures of them, and, you know, that's why Rachel had disappeared, and, and yeah. And one of you guys did comment on um, one of the episodes saying that um, the beginning like lecture that he gave at the very first episode, that he actually told us about this. Like, it, you know, it was like a subtle way of telling us that this is what what he was doing. But we didn't know it, obviously. So um, super, super great story writing right there um a lot of foreshadowing which is great um but yeah i just i don't know what else to say i just i'm so i'm so ah <laughs> like i just don't know how else to process everything but i think i think i've said enough i think this game can speak for itself you guys have seen the end now so you know i'll let you be the judge of how how well you thought this game did. I think it was amazing. I think it was great. It was awesome. 10 out of 10. <laughs> if you enjoyed this playthrough, nuke that like button. 
And if you haven't already, then make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Stay rad, my friends. Bye!